is with Eclipse Cinemas Bandoran, flying high to bring you the best films in Ireland. Eclipse Cinema. Well, Collie, it's a very good afternoon to you on this very wet and dreary uh, Thursday afternoon. Is it a bit? Is, how's it? How's it Bandoran this evening? Well, I, I feel I should say it's beautiful, but actually, no, it is wet, wet and dreary. And can I just say, this is the one day my new lecturer in college said she might listen to me. So she'll have turned on at a quarter to her. I knew he was a liar. I knew he wasn't on the radio. So, But just in case she's still listening, she's going in for an operation on Monday. So good luck to her. So look, Shamie, would it be fair to say people say sometimes when I get excited, I talk fast. Well, yeah. it might help this week. And yeah. what's more, because I'm going to talk about the dub, Shamey. I'm going oh, to Dublin. So, Jesus, you know, we went all posh last week. People will have seen the video. We all dressed up for James Bond. This week, we're going to be a bit more, you know, north side, even though north I, I say that as a south sider. So, <laughs> let's let's talk about Deadly Cuts. People, there's been quite a few ads on the telly. People might have seen this. This is a movie set in a Northside hairdressers. It's the sort of hairdresser that every small community have, whether it's a working class estate in Dublin or a small village in Donegal or Sligo. You know, it's the centre of the crack. It's where the girls, all the gossip, all the fun, and really the heart of the community. And this is no different, except they're being terrorised by the local scumbag Dino, who's looking for, um, you know, money off everyone and so on. So, yeah, yeah. I don't want to spend too long with the plot, because there's just... The plot is fun and it's quite silly because there's the Dino plot and, you know, are they going to bump them off? And then there's also this big competition, which is very like a Disney. Let's go and put a show on and see if we can win the great prize. So there's loads of different stories happen together. And there's no doubt about it. If this movie was called Awesome Cuts and set in a small town in America, I would say probably say, ah, it's only all right because I wouldn't have got all the jokes. But Jamie, from the first minute... I roared laughing. I oh, right. absolutely <laughs> laughed my way through it. The characters, the fun, the crack, the language. There's, you know, it's the it's the real Dublin girls versus the posh Southside girls. Although the stereotypes are terrible. And somebody's from our far go, no, we're not all like that. But that's not the point. <laughs> okay. And then the country guard coming in, you know, with, right, okay. with, with the no bother, no bo nobody, <laughs> no bother. It's it's really funny, it's rude, it's crude, it's silly, it's heartwarming. I think people will really love it. And I was thinking about this, I was saying to my boss, and he goes, oh yeah, it's good to have, you know, a chick flick for the women. I was I was thinking to myself, it, you know, nobody said Tony Soprano is mostly men, it's only for the men. Blokes, you're missing out by not going to these movies. Now, I really do think ladies will love it on a different level, because there's some rude jokes there that I was kind of glad I was watching it on my own, going, I'm not sure I totally get that. Pigland's town, town full of pigs. Hello, Deadly Cuts, this is Michelle. You're late, Chantel. I had to walk the long way, because Dino said that he was going to shave my head. Oh, for God's sake, Chantel. I heard that he'd done it to Laura Martin and I had like a bleeding Maltese. No, Dino robs half his takings every morning. Protection, he calls it. Which is da, had he owes protection. <laughs> <laughs> With the gang escalate, we're knocking down the shops. He knows everybody's fucking. What the hell do you think you're doing? Let her go! Let me! I'll be taking all I can. Have your money over here, you prick. Murder. There was. But we left that off the menu the last time. Now, the chicken is served in a skewer, so we stab it through. I think we'll have just four vodka, thanks, Patsy. Girls. Your hairstyle show. Council isn't one of gonna shut down shops with an award-winning salon in it. We have to try it. We're Dalton Chadwick, with an Instagram following of 1.8 million, including almost two Kardashians. We're beside a butcher's. Okay, you beautiful blow-dried bastards. Stop! If a salon like that wins a competition like this, it's going to turn our industry on its head. I like their pet. Deadly cuts cannot win. Does you know this Dino fella? Any idea where he's gone? We've done the world a favor. You have a community relying on you. <laughs> You know what we say? Nobody. No bother. Uh, everything else is great fun. And look, 
We have, we always say this, support Irish, shop local this Christmas after COVID. We all know that. And it has to be the same for Irish movies. We have to support them. I love big Hollywood blockbusters. But come on, we got to see our own because there's something about hearing a funny joke in your own accent that just makes it better crack. I really love this. As you can see, I suppose... Yeah. Uh, and, it's, and it is featuring loads of people you're going to know from the commitments, Father Ted, Love, Hate, The Fall. Oh, all, e- every, and, you're going to spot them. And there's rumours that if it does, it's been so well received, if it does well, we're going to have a spin-off TV series and sign me up for it. It'll oh. be, it'd, be, it'd be really good crack because there's so many stories to tell. I, I really, really love this. I suppose I better move on, though. Oh, if, no, you're kind of, kind of, we're going to drop the news. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The more important things to be doing. All the news. Yeah, yeah. COVID, COVID's still happening. It's raining <laughs> outside. You know, politics, politics, politics. Let me tell you about the Adams family. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Two. Uh, so uh, it's, a, it's a cartoon. And it's been ages, you know. We've had a few movies for the little smallies, haven't we? But it's ages since we had a family flick. Look, you know it's coming up to Halloween. So we've got, there was an Adams family cartoon a couple of years ago and it proved very popular. So we've got a second one. And this is, look, it's like many a sequel. This time they're on the road, traveling all over America. Famous actors doing it. But look, all I've seen of the clips is Wednesday. And I've always thought Wednesday was always the funniest one. You know, and all the deadpan jokes. And, you know, it's quite the contrast to the, the really loud young ones that I just watched. But this looks, you know, nice, fun family movie. Because probably since the Croods and Space Jam that we had something that all the family could go and see. So, and we've got a few coming up. We've got this this week and we've got Ron's Gone Wrong, which I'm really excited about next week. But we talk about next week then okay. because we have five movies then. Can I also say we have a classic movie on Wednesday. It is the last movie to win all five big awards at the Oscars 30 years ago, Shamie. How 30? is it 30 years ago? 1991, I, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that I oh. sat in the cinema watching Silence of the Lambs. And you know what? There's been so many spin-offs. And, you know, it's such a, a, a cliche of, you know, fava beans and a nice Chianti, all, all that sort of stuff, that you forget how really good scary, oh, really yeah. good, really scary. And also... Hannibal Lecter's not in it that much, but when he's in it, it's so it's so stunning. I think himself and Judy Dench as Queen Victoria are the winners of the Oscars with the least amount of screen time. But you forget how good Jodie Foster is in this. It's such a brilliant movie. Get a chance. There must be loads of people listening here because you know you you attract a very young audience that never got a chance to see it on the big screen. Maybe even they've seen the Hannibal TV series and so on and never yeah. seen the. I, I what I think is is the best of all the movies. Although Manhunter would run it close, but um, it, it's on it's on Wednesday. What time? Can't wait to see it. It's on about half eight on Wednesday night. You know, look, Champions League's not on. Go go give yourself a treat. Go and watch. You know, Anthony Hopkins, absolutely one of the all time great performances. The things that we will still be showing in years and years. See it on the big screen. It's great, and we've so many. Go and go see these this weekend because the weather is rubbish. And also, we've so many movies next week. Yeah, so that kind of ties in well with Hall- uh, with uh, Halloween coming, and you know, yeah, your, we've your we of- literally have the Halloween movie coming as well next week. We've Halloween coming, we've midterm, so there's loads of movies for all ages. And look, Bond's still going, and I think you did catch up with Bond. I went to Bond the other night. Uh, a couple of us went. Absolutely, I have to say, it was fantastic. It is spectacular, isn't it, it, Jamie? And you have to see it. It it would be lost on your TV screen at home. Absolutely too much to watch. I I loved it that much. I'm kind of I'm looking forward to going again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I missed half of it. I I I think I met I I met a nice gentleman today who said I really want to go to Bond, but I want to dress up for it. But I, I, you know, he's an older man. He wanted to go when it was a bit quieter. I went. Bond is going to stick around for a few weeks, despite all the new movies out. It is definitely and that, that stunt with the bike with the motorbike at the oh. start. It that's the one that made Shane Smith have a slight swear on it, it, in, the, in the cinema because it's that spectacular. I'm glad you enjoyed it, but really you know, enjoyed it. Yeah. As I said, as good as Bond is, you know, I I I was great in the cinema. A few people said, you know what? I haven't come back since COVID, and it was just the fuss about Bond. You know, dragged me. Brought in, people back. They were kind of saying, I'd forgotten how much fun it is, and it's not just about watching the movie, isn't it? It's about throwing yourself in the shower, having a night out, maybe yeah. having a beer or a pizza on the way, and making a deal of it. And it's great. Just you know, and the coke and the whole thing. It was great. And what what I 
what got me now, and I'll tell you this, yeah. right, and, and, and listeners, uh, how young the audience was. I couldn't believe yeah. it. I, 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 yeah. I would say, I said when we started talking about doing a midnight showing and so on, I went, well, you know, that's Marvel movies. Surely Bond, you know, it's more people my age, you know, who are bed by 11. And, uh, but it's turned out, and I think it is the hype, but they've, they've nailed it. I think, you know, it's his fifth movie, and unfortunately it's his last, because I think they've got the balance with a modern Bond and the classic bits with the Aston Martin, with the gadgets, with all that. There's kind of a really good balance of, of the two, wasn't it? It's, well, it's yeah. not as dated. The stunts are up to date. And do you remember what I was saying last week about how physical they are? You really feel they're driving in those roads, don't you? And when they... When somebody gets hit, they stay hit. It's not, you know, they spring back up and not a scratch on them. Uh, but uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad so many people, already tonight, it's Thursday night on a rainy, miserable night in Bundoran, and we've sold out two of the shows it, 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 for Bond. It's well, great it to all. see as yeah. long as people get their seats. But, you know, don't forget, I got to preach, Jamie. Don't yeah. forget about the small Irish movies either. Deadly Cuts this week. We're going to be talking a rock. We're going to talk an Irish language movie next week. And people are going to go, ah, Jesus, your man's on the soapbox again. But no, it's going to be really good. And I'm really excited <laughs> about it. Yeah. Well, so are we. Look, at Collie, as always, good to talk to you. Enjoy the movies. And uh, we'll talk to you back here uh, next Thursday. Jesus, see you later, bud. Yeah, right, bud. <laughs>